All right, you can also go to the terrain brushes and choose any terrain here. And as you can see, all the pictures here are vertical pictures, which means they are not drawing the side of the mountain and using that as the image for creating terrain. They are using the top picture of the mountain, the picture that you see if you look to the mountain from an airplane or something like that uh, when you are vertical to that mountain you will see the mountain from that part uh, you can take a shot and you just uh, you can use that shot as a picture for your for creating the terrains anyway this is very very clear and it's very easy to understand you can here change the size of your brush you can change the softness of the brush of course as you can see the brush is visible in the preview window and as you move your mouse over the over the terrain or the mountain you can use that brush you can change the size of that brush by dragging this slider and as you can see it's now bigger smaller and you can change the softness as well which means if you create terrain the sides of your brush will be very soft and the strongest effect will be at the center of your brush where the X mark is visible for you so if you change the softness here as you can see the brush almost has the same effect for its all sides and you can change the flow stronger flow will create stronger effect not stronger change but sorry not stronger um, effect by meaning it changed the terrain in different way than using lower flow and pressing for a long time it creates the same effect of course the flow only make it faster or slower and here you can change the strength of course you can also we are digging now you can use rays you can undo of course you can undo only one step for example if you raise this here and you undo there we go if you click now hundreds times it will not undo you can dig you can use maximum to raise all the terrain to the maximum amount the top part will be flat as you can see or to minimum to lower the high um, parts of the terrain to also a flat position let's use deck again let's try maximum and minimum of course minimum doesn't have effect unless you raise this part like that and when you use minimum now you will lower that part to the flat position you can use effects to paint any effects like diffusive erosions or like um, dissolve lot of effects tones lot of other effects create fir trees for example cracks any effect you want just select that effect grid for example and you can create it by pressing the terrain editor like that fir trees 
because you need to lower the size of your brush so it creates more the flow you can also create craters you just reset amazing effect that you can create easily or you can create effects by going to effects here uh, but uh, this tab will create effects all over your terrain for example if you press grid it will create grid for all your terrain pebbles stones as you can see all the terrain uh, the effect is covering all the terrain and you can go to the root um, tab and choose for example diffusive to diffuse the effect or choose wind any effect you want river, valley and you can of course change the rock hardness to hard or soft It's amazing how you can edit your terrain to anything you want using this terrain editor. So now you understand the paint, how you can paint the effects, how you can paint uh, using the rays, the dig, minimum, maximum, and altitude, and how you can use a route, how you can use the effects. Of course, it's all self-explanatory, which means I don't have to go uh, and show you every button as long as you have the buttons and as long as you press them you will have that effect on the terrain alright so let's go now to explain the this part at the top here of course now you are um, uh, you are this button is active which means you are using the free camera you can move it using the right mouse button or you can click and you will see the terrain rotated automatically or you can see it from the top so you can switch between the top camera and the free camera by pressing this button this button will show you the terrain options, you can make the terrain symmetrical, you can make it skin only, you can make standard or procedural easily by selecting the buttons here or the uh, options here. You can come here copy, you can paste, you can undo, zoom in and zoom out. You can change the resolution of the terrain. Let's zoom in again. You can also raise the resolution of the terrain easily by pressing the button here. Will raise the terrain resolution. Double it. The button here will reduce the resolution. And here you can resize the size of the terrain by pressing this. You can choose any size you want by entering value in one of this uh, size y size and x size <coughs> alright it's very easy and here just let me zoom out and here you can press this to equalize as you can see uh, the 